Hey guys, I was just out in the backyard and thought, well, I'm gonna take a little rest in the hammock and I just sat down in it and I swear from back here in the swamp somewhere, I heard whistling, which is not new. We've heard this before. I have no intentions of going in there because I think the bugs are still really bad. I'm dressed, it's 30 degrees out here. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. But I kind of want to go in there and investigate. We haven't been in the woods here probably in nine days. We were camping, we were gone, I've been at the office. Nobody's been in here. Let's take a little walk, a little short walk, because I think the bugs are still going to be absolutely freaking terrible. I had to run back to the house and get the camcorder, so whatever was whistling, I don't know. But I heard it. It wasn't a bird, it was a whistle. Hey, you heal. No. Heal. There. I just heard it again. I can hear a crow or a raven off in the distance. There's the crow. I don't know if the camcorder is picking that up, but I just heard another whistle. It sounded further away. Like maybe back that way. Surprisingly, the mosquitoes are not on me yet, guys. I'm like, hey, hey, over here. Heel. Don't be running off. So I did just hear a crack in the woods right there. Can you guys hear that crow? Right there, hear that? Another loud crack. Somebody's in here, and I'm not even joking, guys. Someone or something is in here. I hope the camcorder caught that.
There was another loud crack right, right there. Should I whistle? I don't see anything. And I can see quite a ways in here. Should be nobody in here. As you guys know, this is this is my right in my backyard. This is all private. I mean, it's private for three hundred acres back here, so there shouldn't be anybody here. Telling you guys, I heard it. I'm not nuts. See something dark there? I don't know what that is. Nothing, there's nothing back here guys, it's quiet. The bugs are not too bad actually. I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, your congressional hearings on uh, UAPs, UFO stuff from yesterday. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, I mean, yes, these guys, I mean, they could lie under oath, right? So, I mean, and they're just telling us what we already suspected, right? Most of us already kind of know <laughs> that the U.S. government has downed alien craft, right? Most of us believe that. Technology of some sort, that's alien. So, my point on that, guys, is... Show us the technology, show us the bodies, show us, you know, whatever biological proof that you have, right? If you're going to come out and it, we're going to start this investigation, let's get, let's just get it over with, show us what you got, and we can move forward from there investigating scientifically. We all know UFOs exist, we all know they probably abduct people. Let's just stop denying it, let's, you know, and I think that's where we're headed. Every year it seems to be a little closer to that. And hey, I think that's freaking awesome that these guys are coming forward. You know, if this had been the early 80s, they would have been killed by now. They'd be dead. And the Russians would have been blamed. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so also I wanted to talk to you guys about Grant's channel, my brother. Okay, Optimal Frequency is his channel. Now, he does weird stuff, guys. He runs tap water, he filters it, and there are responses, verbal messages, okay? As clear as day in some of these videos. And what I wanted to talk about was he did a video the other day and he was talking about um, the case where back in the 80s the guy got messages on his computer. And they said it was from somebody from the 1500s, was given technology from somebody in our future, and this guy was communicating on this computer in England, this, you know, when computers were in their infancy, and there was left messages, okay? I forget what the, the name of the case was. But it's a famous case, okay? Anyway, granted a session on that. And the part that blows my mind is he had a, a power failure on his TV a few videos back. So he was really paranoid that it wasn't recording downstairs, that the audio system wasn't working, the TV wasn't working. And so when he started a session, he said, uh, testing, testing into his mic, which he never says. Okay. Clear as can be, you hear the response. Your mic is working. Right. Okay. So again, sorry, I, I am getting eaten by mosquitoes now, guys. This points out to me that somebody, something is answering him. And yes, we know we get that on my channel as well, on the apps, okay? Yes, it could be argued that the apps have a database of words and could be used. I don't think that's what's happening, okay? Because it says my name all the time. In a video that I did with Jen just this past week, guys, we asked, we saw an old black and white photograph. We asked who was in the photograph and it says, Jen and I, Jen and Gary. Now, the, th the interesting part about that is on the way in to this site, Jen was telling me, oh, we're going to go have high tea, da, da, da. She's talking about the tea that they would have at this place. She shouldn't have known that. And we looked at the, at the stone marker and there's a picture of them being served tea. And it was almost like Jen and I had been there before, you know? So and it, what I want to know, what I'm pointing at, what I'm getting at is we are definitely talking to something on Grant's channel and my channel. Out here in the woods, we've gotten EVPs right on the camcorders, on the recording equipment, okay, whispered voices. Where I'm going with this is, what are we talking to? It could be spirits. It could be alien technology. It could be something from another dimension. Angels, demons, who, I don't know, who knows what it is, but there's something that is communicating with us when you're open-minded enough to research this and make thousands of recordings you get this stuff on film. What are we recording? What are we getting communication from? I don't know, but it's here and it's real. And I just think it's a shame that Grant does a video like this or that, any of the videos he's done, and he gets 200 views. It's pretty mind blowing stuff. There's something, and, and like he says, it's not just him. He tells you guys the software that he's using and the method that he uses and he actually has people on his Reddit and that belong to his uh, subs that do this same stuff. They get the same messages. They are communicating with the same thing he is. So, guys, we're not hoaxing or faking anything. Paranormal stuff and messages come through. You know, for a long time, when I first started watching these channels, okay, there's a Huff Paranormal, okay? I thought, oh, this guy is a quack. This guy is a nut job. Okay, if you've never seen him, he has like a million subscribers. You probably have if you're into paranormal stuff. I'm telling you, that guy's doing the exact same thing we're doing with, you know, he was using um, Necrometer, which is the new app I bought two weeks ago. And I, I just clicked, okay, show me some videos with this. I want to see what it is before I buy it. And one of Huff's videos came up. And, you know, over the last couple of years, the more I've watched his channel, and I don't watch it a lot, just here and there, He's no different than Grant or I. He's doing the exact same type of stuff. And I believe that the messages and things he's getting are real. He's not faking it. This stuff comes through. And any of you guys could be, you know, trying these apps or Grant's water method and seeing this. So I don't understand why Grant can't get more of a following on this stuff because it's fascinating. Well... Not seeing any tracks or anything in any of these wet spots.
All right, guys, this is just a bit of a test to see, you know, what state is the woods in and, you know, can we get back here without getting eaten alive? And I think we're almost there. The bugs might be a little bit worse in the evening, but I think we're, you know, over the next couple of weeks here, we're going to be back here exploring a lot more. We've got uh, two trail cameras out. I've got to collect those. <sighs> Change the batteries. I don't know. The hunting blind. We haven't been to the uh, hunting blind in a while. I have to check on that as well. There's a plane coming, but then I also heard something like a loud crashing noise somewhere. We're right here where Tom pitches his, uh... Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the yard and as a little experiment, I'm gonna have the camcorder there this time ready and running. I'm gonna lay down in the hammock again. Do we hear whistling again? I don't know. All right, back in the yard, we survived. Didn't get eaten too badly back there, so. Well, I hear nothing. <laughs>